Hello everyone. In my previous video on the five Samba settings I used to greatly improve the communication efficiency between my Unraid Mac Pro and Mac, you would have seen I was quite happy with the results. In this video, we're gonna take those settings and super boost them with additional setting changes, this time mainly on the Unraid Mac. You'll be impressed. Now, if you're like me and just started out using Unraid, then you may have found the Samba experience, the Mac Finder experience, bringing those two together, using it with the Unraid NAS rather disappointing. Immediately out of the box, Unraid unpacked, ready to go to my Mac, set it up, got in there, and found it rather unresponsive browsing folders, even small ones. Now, the ability to drag drop large files like Final Cut Pro projects, like I would to and from my Drobo, was very, very disappointing to say the least. It was actually not really possible unless I spent time waiting. And so I resided to myself to the fact that it was the way. This is the way. And I consoled myself somewhat by saying at least this venture to find a Drobo replacement didn't cost me much money. Now I've been using Unraid with my Mac for about seven weeks now, and I've got to know it a little bit better. So what I've done is I set up my Mac Pro as a test rig with some basic hard drives, and it's connected to a one gigabit network. Now, some of you may be saying, well, you are using a 14 year old Mac. You've got a one gigabit network. What do you expect? And to tell you the truth, I was beginning to doubt myself as to the decisions I'd made. In fact, I haven't made a mistake. My only mistake was unknowingly at the time thinking that Samba, its settings, which came with the Unraid OS, were optimal out of the box for a Mac. Also at that time, unknowingly, I believe my Mac was not at fault and thought it was all Unraid's fault. Well, it turns out the Mac assumes, as I should have assumed, that it works fine with another Mac folder mounted from another Mac. But Mac Samba settings, by default, are broken. So while it can communicate with other non-Apple devices, it does so rather inefficiently. And so changes have to be made to both the Mac and the Unraid system. Now on the Mac, that's the samba.comp file. On the Unraid system is in the settings under Samba. The Unraid OS brand new out of the box does acknowledge that there is something special about talking with a Mac and so does provide an additional setting to confirm to you that maybe you should set this to yes if you're using a Mac. However, as I will show in this video, there are even more additional Samba settings that are needed to make Unraid Samba settings work the best they can be with a Mac. You need to have a look at my previous video and use the settings from that video with the settings in this video. And I will leave a link to that video in the video description below. With these additional settings, alongside those other settings given in the other video, applied to both systems, the Unraid OS and the Mac OS, the transformation is... Everything is awesome. These settings combined have greatly improved the responsiveness of the Mac Finder and the transfer speeds to and from the NAS, especially with my Final Cut Pro projects. I will also go as far as to say that the file transfer speed when drag dropping a Final Cut Pro project across to the Unraid NAS is close to rsync speeds. Now I set up a torture directory on the Unraid NAS that contains all the installations of all the apps I've ever used on all of my Macs over the last 14 years. So you can imagine that folder is full of a lot of installation packages and files. So opening that folder and trying to browse that directory has a notable delay even on my Thunderbolt Drobo. Opening that same folder on the NAS was, as it turned out to be, I won't be doing that again. Now with these latest Samba changes, it's a night and day difference. Now that same torture folder opens and shows the contents within 10 to 20 seconds instead of hours or days. Everything is awesome. Okay, so let's get started. We need to open up the Unraid's web page. And before we applying any Samba changes, the array needs to be stopped. So that's not stopped, do that first. Now we need to go to the settings page. Under the network settings, open up the Samba settings. Move down the page to the Samba extra configuration section. 
What you need to do next now is copy the Samba settings in the description of this video and paste them into the empty line or next to existing settings in that section. When done, click the apply button. Now what we need to do to set these into action is go back to the array and restart it. So go back to the main array play button and switch to play. Just one more thing to do now. If you have an unraid share drive mounted on your Mac, then you need to unmount it and remount it. By doing this, you allow the Mac to establish new Samba protocol settings communicated to it by the Unraid Samba settings or the Unraid system. And that is everything. Now I'm getting about the same responsiveness and transfer speeds from the Unraid Mac Pro as I do with my Mac Pro 2009 NAS and everything is... is you can tell I'm extremely happy with the outcome. It's a night and day difference. Let me know down in the comments how you have made your Samba performance improvements. I would love to hear them and I'm sure other people would too. If you like this video then do please hit that like button as this tells YouTube that you liked it a lot and it really does help this channel out. Keep well, keep safe and I'll catch up with you next time. Oh and be so kind to hit that subscription button on the way out to be sure not to miss future videos. Thanks guys.